What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 29th Java programming tutorial. So over the past four or five, I don't really remember how many it was, but we've been um, learning about classes and methods. So now since I'm teaching you guys about classes and methods, uh, it would be only fair to teach you guys about constructors. So basically a constructor is a special type of method that is in every single every single class you make even if it's not there so yeah it's kind of weird so if you guys remember we were making objects of different classes you guys don't have to type this out or anything this is just an example um, so if I had see how I have a tomatoes class here if I made a tomatoes object so tomatoes t is equal to new tomatoes a lot of you guys are probably wondering why we have to put this new tomatoes stuff so basically what this is doing is it is making a call to the constructor so as I said before a constructor is basically just a method that is called upon um, making an object of that class so if it doesn't make any sense right now don't worry about it I'm going to clear it up in this tutorial so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have two different classes in your uh, project and uh, yeah that's pretty much all you need to do and go into your uh, tomatoes class and now we're going to create our constructor method now the only thing different between a constructor method and a normal everyday method is that um, a constructor method does not have a return type. It doesn't even have void. So before we used to make um, make methods like public void print print message or something, or we had public oops int uh, number. Oops, I can't type return one or something um, so we always had these uh, return values now in a constructor we don't have that at all so you guys can just delete that um, so to make a constructor all we have to do is type the word public and then use our class name this is very important your constructor has to use the name of your class and that's case sensitive so make sure you have your capital and everything so to do that we just need to go tomatoes and then open in, um, open um, uh, parameters, my bad, <laughs> forgot what it was called for a second there. So nothing in your parameters right there. And uh, that's it, that's basically your constructor right there. Now this may be kind of useless right now, but later on, especially when, they, when we get into game programming, we're going to be using constructors all the time. Primarily what they're used for is for initializing values in your program like initializing say your players coordinates your players velocity or something when you create the object so let's just put a, a random statement in here just s out let's say I am the constructor okay how do I spell this constructor there we go um, so yeah that's all you need in this class and now what you're gonna do in your main method is you're just gonna make a tomatoes object so tomatoes t is equal to new tomatoes now you guys may be thinking okay how do I call this tomatoes method usually if we had another method let's just make one right here um, public void print message uh, and let's print out like I must be called so usually when we have Oh yeah, this needs to be static, by the way. I actually remembered it that time. Usually when we have a method, we usually have to take our t or tomatoes object and call it call the method that way. So we would have to go t dot print message. But with a constructor, we don't have to call it at all. When you create the object, this right here is essentially calling your constructor. So if we ran this right now, as you can see it says I am the constructor and then it says I must be called because it's just printing out the uh, print message method so right here is basically saying okay I'm making an object of the tomato class and then it goes into the tomatoes class it says okay I found a constructor here I have to print this out now and it prints it out so you don't explicitly go t dot tomatoes like that that doesn't work it automatically does it for you so You'll see why this is useful later. You're probably thinking, like, why don't I just make a method to do that? But later on, you'll see exactly why we need to use that. 
So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys understood it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.